Hello everyone and welcome back to another Global Maze. Groundbreaking research in fields like gene editing and cellular regeneration are leading the charge in life extension. One of the improvements that scientists have slowed down aging in mice by reprogramming their cells. And now these developments is getting tested in humans. But life extension is not just about preserving the body. Our brain and consciousness lie at the heart of who we are. Neural research seeks to unlock the secrets of consciousness and memory. Companies like Alcor and Cradle are pioneering cryonics, aiming to preserve the body and brain with the hope that future technology will allow the revival of not only the body but potentially the person's memories and identity. So let's see where we are now. As science pushes the boundaries of life, profound metaphysical questions arise like is the body enough to define life or is there something immaterial, something like the soul that gives us our true essence? For millennia, philosophers and religious leaders and scientists have debated the existence of the soul by questioning if our consciousness is revived but the soul is absent and are we truly alive. Even though science has made remarkable progress in understanding the neural process that govern our thoughts, memories and perceptions, yet the nature of consciousness remains a mystery. Some scientists argue that the mind is entirely a product of the brain's physical functions while others believe there may be something more like unmeasurable metaphysical aspects yet to be fully understood. How about quantum physics? Could quantum physics explain consciousness? Well, quantum physicists have speculated that the soul may be linked to the quantum processes that govern the universe. Theories like quantum consciousness proposed by Roger Penrose and Stuart Hemroff suggest that consciousness might arise from quantum states within the brain. And now, next question is, if consciousness is indeed quantum in nature, could it continue to exist even after the body is dead? Well, science doesn't have answer to that question. So to answer, many people report personal experiences that suggest the presence of a soul. Practices like meditation, prayer, spiritual healing often led to profound feelings of peace, transcendence, and interconnectedness. Could these be moments where the soul communicate with us, reminding us that life extends beyond what can be physically measured? Well, as life extension research progresses, the future holds incredible possibilities and we have many questions to answer. Could we want day have option to choose how long we want to live? Could our consciousness be transferred to new bodies or even digital realms? While the science of life extension offers hope, it also brings up some challenges, like who will have access to these technologies? That is a very important question since if our consciousness becomes digital, then humans will be like robots that can be managed by anyone. Another question is how will societal structure adapt if people live for far longer than before? So questions will continue. Life extension research gives us both hope and possibility, but it also forces us to rethink our understanding of life, death, and what lies beyond. As science explores the limits of human existence, we are left with deeper questions. What makes us human? Is it our body, our mind, or something beyond, or our soul? And perhaps, most importantly, should we even strive to live forever? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for the latest updates. I will see you in the next video.